Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you guys how to scrap this heater. So, what I've already done is I've removed the two side panels here and here, and each of them are secured with these really annoying tri-headed screws, and I had to use a um, security bit, a tri-wing bit set, which has three sides on it. Kind of looks like the Mercedes Benz logo. So, once that's done, I can pretty much pull off the top part and all of the little um, knobs and things fall right out. So, here's the front panel, which has the fan cover, the grill. Uh, this is plastic, of course. The side panels were steel. And now we got ourselves a really nasty um, fan blades that are rusted over so I'm going to definitely want to wear gloves for this because unlike the last one where I kind of figured that it wasn't going to be too dangerous to scrap I didn't wear any gloves but in this case these are sharp fan blades and these are rusted so I don't want to increase my risk of getting nasty nasty tetanus so yes yeah, think spins you know and stuff so, this panel should come right out, I think. Oh, it actually has Phillips head screws. So there's one little Phillips head screw bottom, right there. I'm going to undo this screw, see what this does. It's really strange, it's not wanting to come out. Hmm. Looks like I'll just use Mr. Wire Cutter here to break off the plastic. Holds that in place. He's holding that in the way. Hmm. Well, anyway, this bottom part here has a little motor. It looks like a little screwdriver. Should be able to get these screws off. Actually, found this guy in the dumpster. This I don't guys. I enjoy because you never know what you'll get. And plus, you're reducing other people's carbon footprints. And looks like there's four more screws underneath that hold this base plate in place. It also holds rubber feet on as well. Sorry about all the background noise. I have the door open in my garage. Why don't you look at that? Looks like we got ourselves. Base plate, plastic, as expected, and looks like some number two insulated heavy cord with, of course, our brass bearing plug. It's kind of obvious how you would remove the brass inside. You just use one and pull it out. That's it. You pull each prong out, and it's some pretty easy money. They add up fast too because brass is very heavy. And a nice heavy piece of wire. Now on to the fan here.
still comes off. Hmm. Oh well. Let's just get some of these wires cut. We'll deal with that later. Now we're going to sell some big pieces of steel springs for the filament to heat up the, uh, to serve as a heating element. Coils help increase the amount of heat there is involved. Basically, since the, I'm really not a major electrical um, circuit person, but what I'm guessing is that when the current passes through these springs, um, we generate heat. All electricity generates heat pretty obviously. Um, but what happens is that since they're so tightly coiled, they keep generating heat and as they go through the circuit, and so you end up having a lot more heat in the end, which gets sent out through the fan to warm your house. Right now I'm just pulling off all this wire. Hmm. This is a challenge. There we go. There's one end. Now another end. There's a heavy piece of wire. And it appears like that part is some steel right there, but I'm not going to get that out. Or maybe I can. not going to be able to get that out, so, oh well, it's only steel, still it's a pretty low value commodity, so, not too big of a deal, not just aluminum, a bit bigger commodity, but this is steel, so, not too much of an issue. That will take us in place is all these wires that connect to the heating element circuit. There we go. There's a little bit of metal, but mainly plastic. And the main unit here. That has a lot of wires. Let's pull these out. It's like two little bulbs. And there's a bulb. This must be for the indicator lights. To tell when it's on and heating and stuff. These switches might sell online. This little potentiometer, two potentiometers, and also a little switch. But for me, not too much of a deal. I'm just gonna slip off these wires. This potentiometer right here is a bit suspicious in my opinion. This little black guy because he might have some silver in him. 
Let me just snip some wires off camera here. Power wire. That's a whole jumble of wires. It's a lot. And then, of course, the rest of this is just a copper motor. Now inside this piece, there's two little contacts and those are both silver. So you definitely want to pull those off if you're into silver recovery. But other than that, there's really not much on this piece. I want to get this metal off. How would I do that? My goal is to break this piece of plastic right there that holds it in place. That's a clean piece of copper motor. There's a whole bunch of copper wound in there, so you probably want to get into that and try to get that part and get all that copper out. But for me, I just sell just copper motors. Really depends on your opinion and how much time you have. For me, I'm not too much into breaking apart motors. I just sell them as is. Probably it's a better idea to break it apart though. So in turn, we got ourselves our steel fan blades, our steel, Heating coils, our copper wire, look at that, nice copper, a whole bunch of plastic. steel panels and maybe a couple of resettable switches and of course some silver contacts in this center bar switch so yeah also don't forget about your motors as well so yeah that's pretty much all I have for you guys I hope you found that video interesting and useful hopefully not too long it just takes time to break these things apart step by step so yeah if you found this video useful, please like, comment on this video, tell me what you think, and subscribe for more content in the future from the Scrap Man. And I'll see you guys later.